That was the beginning of Don't Give Up by a White Lion. Um, the song is very complicated, so I'm just going to go over the intro. Uh, not go into too much detail of the rest of the song for now. Uh, anyway, so the beginning part, uh, you start on the uh, seventh position. Uh, your index finger actually covers the uh, uh, seventh fret of your. D, G, and B string, and then put your uh, ring finger on the 8th fret of your B string. You basically, you hit that, and you slide up to 5th fret, uh, and your, ring, your index finger is on the 5th fret of your D and G string, and your index finger is on the 6th uh, fret of your B string. And you pull off from the, index to the, uh, from the ring finger to the index. The next part goes like this. What I do is I play the fifth fret of your B string, uh, which is an E note. And you hammer on with your ring finger to the uh, sixth fret on your B string. And uh, while this note's raining out, don't leave your finger up. You keep your ring finger on the sixth fret, and then you play the G note, which is the third fret of your high E string. And then you, uh, and then you play the F note again, the sixth fret of your B string. And then play the fifth fret of your B string. That's the an E note. And then, you, and then you play this one chord right here. I play. Uh, basically, you put your ring finger on the sixth fret of your D, 5th fret of your G, and a 4th fret of your B string. So there. And you play both notes together. Both notes together, the 6th fret of your B, and the 3rd fret of your uh, high E string together. And you play those two notes, you lift your ring finger up, you're still playing the middle finger on your fifth fret and your index finger on the third fret. And you switch hand play that one chord I'll just show you. Uh, so so far we have this. Okay. Uh, once you play that, I'm trying to think how it goes here. Oh, and you put your index finger on the eighth fret. Uh, you, you cover the the uh, D, G, and B string, but we pick the B string first. Eighth fret on the B. Uh, eighth fret of the G and the 8th fret of your D string oh and then you slide and then you play the 3rd fret of your um, uh, on the D, G and B string you basically just using the index finger like that on the 8th fret Fly up to third. What you do once you play that the third fret or your D, G, and B string, and you wanna 
Uh, you hit it again. And you hammer on um, your ring finger on the fifth fret of your D string and your middle finger on the fourth fret of your B string. And slide up to the fifth position and you let those two fingers go and you play the fifth fret of your D and G string. Okay? So the whole thing from the beginning, play it slowly. Uh, let's get a little closer. I'm sorry. Okay. So play a little faster, something like this. And then once you do that, you play the you play that part again. Take fret again. And the third fret. But this time you got an idea. Okay, basically you pick you mute and you pick the third fret of your D string. Third fret of your B string. So, uh, so you go from the third fret of your D, third fret of your B, back to third fret of your D string, and you pick the fourth fret of your B string, pull off on the third, and you play the uh, third fret of your uh, um, D string again, and you play the C sus. Uh, it's like a C power chord. But your index finger plays the uh, uh, third fret of your B string. So so far we're there. Uh, you know, a bunch of stuff. And it does this pattern right here. Um, that's a little complicated, so let's just stick with the intro for now. Uh, thanks for watching.